and welcome everyone to the Metals Price Forecast for the 1st of August 2018 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So first of all today we'll have a look at gold and silver prices. Gold right now is trading just above 1,219 US dollars per ounce and silver is currently trading at $15.42 per ounce. We do have a major news item coming up today which is the FOMC statement which is due out at seven o'clock London time at the moment we're seeing some strength on the US dollar which is certainly putting some pressure on the metals right now with gold trading near the one-year lows so we're not far off those zones at the moment which sit approximately at 1,211 US dollars per ounce so right now gold is trading about eight dollars above that zone but of course we have some major news items coming up First of all, the FOMC statement and then Friday's non-farm payrolls as well. So let's move over to the charts. We'll go through the levels that we're looking at today and some of the trade opportunities that we can see coming up into the FOMC statement and non-farm payrolls too. First of all, if we have a look at silver prices, we have been consolidating throughout most of this week. So silver has continued to hover between $15 and approximately 40 cents up to resistance, which resides just under $15 and 60 cents per ounce at the moment. Silver right now is negative minus 9% for the year of 2018. A typical return for silver over the last 15 years has been 11%. So right now, silver is very oversold relative to where we started the beginning of the year with silver prices and also relative to your average yearly return that you tend to see for silver. Now, we are also coming into a seasonal time of year as we transition into to August here where we do typically see demand start to increase in Asia as we approach the wedding season and we're certainly at a point here trading near enough at the one year lows where we could start to see some support and buyers come into silver however we need to see how the dollar does react to the FOMC statement today and also non-farm payrolls as well if we have a look at the US dollar index we are still getting supported and we're still trading within a range at the moment the US dollar is currently trading at 90 38. It has been unable to close above the 95 level for the US dollar, but at the same time, we are getting slightly higher lows on the US dollar, whether the dollar is going to springboard higher and have another attempt to break above the 95 level, which would likely put some pressure on the metals to the downside, or whether the dollar is going to start to correct. It's had several attempted and failed breakouts above the 95 zone. If the dollar starts to correct and it breaks through the underlying trend channel and we start to revisit 94 and break below that back down to approximately 93.50, that is where we could certainly see some support come in for gold and silver. It's also worth noting the gold to silver ratio we have continued to see that roll over over the last week and a half since we retested 80 to 1 it has historically represented a good time to be looking to buy silver where it can be very oversold relative to gold prices so where you've got a gold to silver ratio of 80 to 1 essentially it would take 80 ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold and typically the ratio does not stay at that extreme for long before it starts to move down to 70 79 to 1 to 78 to 1 and so forth and we've been selling off with the gold to silver ratio over the last few days which would indicate that silver at the moment has more upside potential than gold so out of the two right now out of gold and silver silver is getting more support you can see that quite clearly if we move over to the gold price structure we're rolling over at the moment we're trading right now at 1218 us dollars per ounce on silver the next major levels of support are at 1200 and approximately $14, which is the low which was achieved on Tuesday. And below that, if we were to take out Tuesday's low here, the next major level of support actually resides just approximately at $1,200, just above that level. That will be a major psychological level for gold prices as well. That is a level where you could see gold capitulate if we were to get that low. We can see certainly at the moment gold is within a downward trend right now. It has been unable so far to break out of this downward trending channel. Each retest of that zone, even on Tuesday into the close, we had a retest of that level. It was met by further resistance here. And we can see the dollar is putting pressure on gold at the moment. 
from a sell short perspective, those would be the next major target. So 1214 and then just below that, approximately just above 1200. However, because of the volatility that we can get on FOMC statements and non-farm payrolls, my preferred trade, if I'm looking to take advantage of weakness on the metals, is to instead be going long on the dollar because that will just have an inverse correlation. So if I'm looking for downside on the metals, my preference is to just go long the US dollar. One of the reasons for that is that we're at the lower end of the Celtic the channels were extreme oversold at the moment for the precious metals and we are seeing quite fast moves just on tuesday silver prices capitulated on the hourly chart when silver sold off yesterday to 15 dollars and 34 cents it very quickly then broke out to the upside buyers came back in supporting the price and we're tending to see quite a lot of this at the moment which is why you've got a lot of rejection candles on both gold and silver where they will break back down towards the weekly lows but then very quickly get a bid driving the price up very quickly and you don't really want to get caught off guard on those moves you don't want to get caught in a capitulation move we've seen that recently on palladium on platinum so at these levels right now if you are looking at the sell short side the targets would be now 1214 and approximately 1200 on gold preferences to go along the dollar on the flip side of that if we do get a breakout, because eventually we will likely see a breakout of these downward trends, particularly silver price as well, has been consolidating now for the best part of two weeks here. It's been building up quite a lot of pressure. Now, of course, it could break the low here and revisit back towards the $15 level, which would be a very key level of support and a major target for silver on the sell short side. But if we were to see a breakout here, particularly if we break above all of this consolidation, silver could very quickly break back towards the $16 level. Again, going back to gold, if we don't see a breakdown in price and let's say we see a reversal here the levels that i would be looking at for on gold would be a break back above 1228 us dollars per ounce which was tuesday's highs breaking and clearing above that level and then taking out 1235 dollars which would also be a breach above the monthly pivot as well if we were to break above those levels that is where we could then see gold very quickly break out back towards $1,250. We'd very likely then see a lot of short covering and that could be quite an explosive move. And of course, if you would like to join us at the Gold and Silver Club and be part of a community of successful traders, then join us on the Live Trading Room program. As a member, you get access to live trade alerts, which are delivered via WhatsApp, SMS and email. You have access to mentorship, expert advice, in-depth market analysis and trusted insights so you know earlier how to act quicker and maximize on every trade opportunity. All you need to do to make an application to join us at the Gold and Silver Club is go to www.jointhelivetradingroom.com. The link for the application is also below this report in the description. So just click on the link, make an application and we will of course get in touch with you ASAP and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to be kept updated with the latest commodity reports.